Every Monday night, man, Hip Hop Essentials 101. Chino in the motherfucking house representing too. You know? That's the way to reach him, man. Chino. Well, we came up to create a platform for open mic sessions, a regulated open mic session with the with the kickback like a party on a Monday. You know, a hip hop party. This is Hip Hop Essentials from www.radiobeirut.net. We'll be back in a while with an open mic session. Right now, we need a captain for fucking sales and shit. You know what it is. I come here to relax. The music and everything chills me out. And I start writing whatever comes to my mind. I'm telling a story, a short one, with a meaning in it. And everybody, I hope they'll like it. If not, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You make the beat better, but the better the, better the beat makes you the better. You know, this is a class. You know, whoever wants to come up and sees the skill that's on the ups in the set that we have will want to come up and be better the week after that and the week after that. And that's what MCs are doing now. People learn what the original beats are, the original music is, you know, how to really feel that hip hop coming out of them and not force it on them. Uh, yeah, I've been coming to open mic sessions since about five months right now. Ever since like things have been happening, I mean, I haven't been writing that much, but I'm working on a few things. I've been writing a lot of more deep shit, basically about uh, how we as a society and whole are just fucked up. We don't know how to think for ourselves. We follow leaders that don't give a shit about us. The country makes you build up so much anger that you just let it out on writing, especially when you're into hip hop. I let out all my frustration on the mic over here. So it's pretty fun. Tell me what I do now. I give the to my left and my left is the underground. That's it, the underground. Step up to the mic and let them hear your sound. Yeah, the mic the 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 what makes like hip-hop in Lebanon iconic or like in the Middle East is that actually we have a struggle that's going on like if you reflect on like the hip hop that like stemmed out in the late 70s and early 80s, you know, that's from like a struggle. And right now, it's like a renaissance for our hip hop age where we have the topic and the interest from other people to, to want. I'm a sassy and unfused representing Bilad al Sham. Uh, I have a movement called Bilad al Sham. It's a fusion between Arabic hip hop and Oriental music. I, I came from Aleppo, it's the city of music, city of Tarab. So I rap about society and the daily problems of the Syrians in the past two years of this bad situation. So like, we are rapping about the daily problems and, uh, and everything happened to the Syrians. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of money. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of money. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of money. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of money. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of money. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of money. I'm not
سمعوني مو لاني بحكي الحقيقة عن الميكروفون اللي بيهتموا لي عم فراغ الإذاعة والتلفزيون مرة ثانية مرة ثانية لما بقول أنا هيب هاب هن بيقولوا شرقي اسمع اسمع هيب هاب هيب هاب لما بقول أنا هيب هاب هن بيقولوا شرقي هيب هاب شرقي هيب هاب شرقي أبو علي أبو مايك يا Peace out, bro. Thanks a lot.